Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Sagittarians. Okay, so Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Sagittarius, then this reading is for you. All right, Saggy. Let us start off with this deck, y'all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today thank you spirit thank you spirit what are the messages thank you spirit what are the messages all right my sagittarius okay so we have you, okay, you, underline the energy of reproach, all right, so I'm definitely getting from spirit, like, you know, first of all, I just heard something about two different sides or two sides to a story, but you already know how that goes, it's actually three sides to a story, you get what I'm saying, um, but I feel like some of you are disappointed in yourself, you get what I'm saying, or it's like, uh, you're mad with someone, but it's not like you're mad with anyone other than you. Or Spirit is saying you can't be upset with anyone other than you. Or it's time to self-reflect. Maybe we need to self-reflect and see what role you play in the situation, okay? Um, yeah, it could be something like that, all uh, right? Because it's like you disapprove or you get what I'm saying. Um, you're disappointed, but in what? In you? You get what I'm saying? You disapprove of you, something you did like, or you're doing? What exactly is it, right? So let us see, we have heart chakra. So it's like, you're following your heart here and spirit wants you to be at ease about that. But you're, you're just like, you're disgusted with yourself for having done something that your heart is telling you to do. You get what I'm saying? Or something like that. It's really weird. It's like somebody here is being really, really hard on themselves. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. It's like, okay, let us keep it rocking. Fire Sagittarians. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, it is. I said it is. We have the Queen of Cups coming out with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so you love this person. You did something following your heart. Okay, once again, here's Four of, of Wands. It's like a Four of Swords, excuse me. So it's like you have peace of mind now because maybe you thought somebody didn't care for you or you thought somebody didn't love you, but now you see that they love you. They care for you the same way. Spirit is guiding you towards this person because this is the person that loves you, that you're meant to be with or have something with. You feel it in your gut with that second chakra, but I don't know. Maybe some of you have a situation going on or something already or something that's preventing you from moving towards it or something that has you feeling guilty here it's like but you have peace knowing that this person loves you though i don't know it's something about it all right so let us see here so you're disappointed in yourself for what for i don't know let us see Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords here, the Three of Cups. Okay, hmm, because of third-party situation. So if I'm talking to, it doesn't matter, male, female, put yourself whichever side you go. You could be dealing with somebody already. You get what I'm saying? You could be dealing with somebody already. Um, and that's the problem because the Three of Cups is like third-party situation. It could also be reunion, reuniting. So I just heard reunited and it feels so good. So somebody here is reunited with somebody. It feels so fucking good. It feels like over the top, mind blowing good. You get what I'm saying? Better than sex. Better than the best orgasm you ever had in your life. Better than the best food you ever tasted in your mouth. You get what I'm saying? Like this is some is the best feeling ever for you. But you feel bad about it. Now mind you, I feel like your head is trying to tell you to feel bad about it. Your, your logic is trying to tell you, oh, no, this is not right, or oh, no, do not pass go, or something along those lines. I also feel here like the problem might be that your head and your heart are on one accord, and you're like, damn, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we have a uh, ace of wands. Spirit is like, this came out of nowhere. This happened suddenly. There's a brand new beginning, or there's a spark here between you and someone you always thought it was, but now it's been confirmed, or you always thought the person loved you, but now it's been confirmed. You know for a fact they love you, or... It's something here, man. So we have the five of cups. This could be somebody from your past. All right. This situation has really weighed down on you or beat you up a lot. You get what I'm saying? Because like I said, you didn't think that the person really desired you or wanted you the same way you wanted and desired them. And now that you 
know that it's like you, you get everything that your heart ever wanted your heart is bursting open with joy you get what i'm saying and suddenly there's a need to do something or suddenly there's a chance to make this situation right and you're ready to hop on it you get what i'm saying but you're like disappointed in yourself for it or it's something here with that man okay so it could be because you're not the type of person to deal with people from your past. But I feel like if this is someone who you never really got that fair chance with, is it really someone from your past? Like, you didn't really have anything with them. You get what I'm saying? You can't consider that to be you going backwards if you never really gave them a, a relationship where they y'all never really had anything like that that's not really somebody from your past an ex is somebody you was in a relationship with you know they mama they know your mama you was at their house they was at your house y'all did things for each other with each other that's an ex getting to know somebody and then the situation not taking off the ground that's not an ex all right so if you if it's some shit like that what do you feel bad about you get what i'm saying like I mean, maybe that was just where you're supposed to be all along, okay? So, let us see. I mean, that's been coming out a lot. We have the Knight of Pentacles here with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so you, you want to go slow. This is what's on your mind. You want to go slow because you don't want to get your heart broken. In the event that this situation was to end or was to close or was to whatever, you get what I'm saying? then you feel like um you would be a fool you know what i'm saying because the seven of wands is standing up for what you really want you're afraid of being attacked out of nowhere you're afraid of this person pulling their love away out of nowhere you know that they can affect you because of how much you love them so yes you would like a future with them but at the same time you're not sure if this is something you should be doing because it's like your head is trying to tell you it's bad but your heart is telling you it's good you get what i'm saying or something like that so let us see here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is going to be the one that you end up building with. All right. That's what I'm seeing it as. Eight of Wands. You could be traveling to them. They could be traveling to you. This could also be a very important conversation that needs to take place. But I keep seeing that damn airplane. But it's definitely traveling. All right. Um, there could be some plans that's coming together right now. Excuse me. Slowly but surely. All right, yeah, Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this is your happily ever after, Saggy. This is the person that you're going to build with. This is the person that you were meant to be with. So if this is someone from your past that's resurfacing, well, this is why. You get what I'm saying? The Eight of Wands, it keeps coming out. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is why. The Two of Cups. So this is the person that you're meant to be with. Two of Pentacles. You keep them balanced. They keep you balanced. The High Priestess. You intuitively know, have always known that this was your person, Four of Wands. Your Twin Flame, your Divine Counterpart. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So, hey, girl. Hey, hey, boy. What up? You guys are more than welcome to join me on the Twin Flame readings okay i do those all the time they're going to start happening a lot more often all right so you guys are more welcome i mean excuse me more than welcome to join me over there Woo! we have love spell you've been bewitched somebody feels like they've been put under a love spell it's not even that it's just that you love the person shit they might feel the same way about you they might feel like they've been put into your love spell it's something that that you can't break it doesn't matter how much time passes you still in love with that person that's because that's your person that's why so we have vacation, okay? You will be traveling soon. Like I said, somebody is traveling, going to see their bay, or your bay is coming to see you or something, all right? But it is what it is. If this was your video or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.